Welcome back guys, this is the King of Weebs and this is Wife Narta, the older sibling part 3 and uh, last time we left off with uh, Team 7 actually returning from the land of waves, Naruto being pretty pissed off however he does uh, continue his uh, uh, well training and uh, of course they do get told on this, uh, the next day after they came, came back that they will be taking part in the training exams and anyways Naruto is actually pretty much uh, more than <clears throat> ready for them he is more than tuning level at this point Suki is of course tuning level and the Sasuke tuning level as well they're all tunings however they have to take it because no one really would believe it that or I don't know where these mans are tuning level like what's going on here but anyway now anyway during these two weeks Naruto spent her alone because he wasn't in the right mindset to actually talk to anyone else after the Haku's death and everything and anyways now Team 7 does meet again after two weeks to enter the training exams and uh, their first uh, well, test was uh, pretty much the Genjutsu even though it wasn't a test but still they got rid of the Genjutsu and then Lee actually did challenge Sasuke and Sasuke actually didn't take this on this time because he was actually trying to keep everything a secret from others he didn't want others to uh, know his techniques and everything and how strong he is but anyway anyway Team 7 goes to their respective rooms and uh, everyone pretty much uh, passes easily. Naruto actually beating even Naruto's score uh, by miles just saying like he absolutely annihilated it. But anyways now Naruto and the Team 7 do pass the first exam and Naruto actually doesn't uh, well cheat just saying and anywho. The second exam the second part of the exam was uh, the forest of death and uh, of course, Team 7 was, uh, at, well, still <laughs> attacked. <laughs> anyway, Team 7 does still go on their way into the Forest of Death. And here, Naruto does have to go to do his business as usual. And in the end, uh, a team, well, Sa uh, Sakura, uh, Tsuki and uh, Sasuke do get attacked by Orochimaru. And uh, he pretty much uh, kind of destroys them. Uh, even Tsuki didn't stand a chance because Orochimaru actually was tryharding a bit. And... Uh, he was able to get the bite on Sasuke and in the end pretty much kick Otsuki uh, unconscious and basically he was about to kill her until Naruto arrived and cut off his arm and Naruto said who the hell are you and anyways of course Tsuki was all bloody same as Sasuke and they were pretty injured like uh, when I say injured I mean very injured they did fight hard and uh, half, uh, a lot of the not bones but they had a broken arm or two but anyway and a broken rib or two in her arm anyway now team 7 well naruto who came back to see this uh, he realized that it's always naruto like it's always him to be late or something and uh, this always happens with haku he was late and then haku uh, in the end died and everything and anyways now again he's late with his own team and uh, uh <clears throat> and now look what happened and anyways naruto and uh teams oh well, naruto and Orochimaru were going at it and uh, Orochimaru <laughs> does get I'm actually in the VC retreat <laughs> I'm muted but <laughs> we're playing a game and this guy's getting absolutely shot on <laughs> and anyway uh, Naruto and Orochimaru go at it Orochimaru was actually keeping up with Naruto with just, with just one arm remember Naruto literally cut off his arm because he was that pissed, pissed. however Naruto was just trying him out and now he's like alright that's enough and uh, Pretty much shoves his sword right into Orochimaru's chest, and Orochimaru was like, "What just was that?" And uh, he was confused because Naruto went past the speed limit. He did not expect something that fast. He didn't even see it coming, and out of nowhere, he saw a sword in his chest. And as soon as he looks to his chest, he gets kicked right in the face by Naruto, and then a Rasengan into his stomach. And uh, he's on the ground. Naruto pulls out the sword. He was about to stab his head a few times now. However, Orochimaru then escapes uh, in time uh, before Naruto was actually about to kill him. Here, Naruto uh, wasn't fast enough because Orochimaru was using everything to actually escape. And in the end, uh, Naruto takes the two Team 7 members uh, uh, back to safety because they're pretty injured. And uh, now uh, <clears throat> he's uh, pretty much taking care of them while he's waiting and uh, to, for them to wake up Tsuki wakes up uh, Tsuki wakes up and uh, pretty much uh, sees Naruto uh, kinda injured not too injured however kinda injured anyways uh, now anyway 
Of course, uh, uh, Naruto and uh, Tsuki were talking while Naruto was actually healing her. Yes, Naruto actually learned healing techniques from Naruko. Uh, well, he took the scrolls that she had and uh, will start uh, start learning them because he realized that if Haku, well, if Naruto knew how to heal and uh, knew how to basically stop the bleeding and everything, Haku could have actually survived. However. He realized that he was weak and uh, he spent the whole two weeks just training and healing an injury too so basically he's becoming a healer right now and he did ask for some advice from uh sakura yes he actually did go to sakura for some advice remember sakura is actually a, a training in medical ninjutsu like i said before but anyway now naruto and uh, uh naruto actually healed sasuke first and now tsuki went out as she woke up she was getting healed and then the sound trio appeared naruto's like you would you want and uh, pretty much they tried to attack them they like give us sasuke and naruto's actually as soon as they tried to attack naruto put a, a foot right into their faces well into his face the uh, uh, the main one i forgot their names leave me alone but uh, he pretty much steps on his face while he was trying to dash at naruto and naruto pretty much kicks him away and uh, he was confused on what just happened but then naruto's like Take another step and I'll kill all of you one by one, torture you to death. Understood? Of course, they didn't take it as a threat. However, they knew that Naruto was fast and so they used their sound waves. However, then Sasuke woke up and pretty much the two took them out. And they were about to. Naruto was actually more ruthless here. However, he didn't kill them. He said, Give us your scroll, otherwise, we'll kill you for it. And they gave it and then they escaped, anyways. Now, they realized that maybe it was a mistake to go up against Naruto because, like, look how strong he is. Like, Bro, are you good? My G, he's too OP. Anyways, now Naruto and uh, uh, Team Seven actually did go uh, to the final destination and pretty much uh, uh, finished the second part of the exam, the Forest of Death. And uh, anywho, of course, Naruto and uh, Team Seven. After this, uh, they did tell Kakashi about the curse mark on Sasuke's. Uh, uh, neck sasuke was actually able to withstand the curse mark after a bit after naruto was talking to him basically he was about to attack all of them like his own team and then naruto put some sense into him by talking to him and uh, in the end him and uh, well sasuke was able to well not restrain but uh <clears throat> deactivate the curse mark so it wouldn't affect him anymore so it's deactivated but anyways now naruto and uh, Team 7 uh, afterwards were told about the preliminaries and uh, Tsuki asked Naruto how did he learn healing and injured and uh, Naruto said that basically he learned it within the two weeks of the training and uh, he spent all his time training in that and nothing else and uh, anyways now Team 7 did uh, get into the preliminaries as per normal and here Sasuke pretty much finishes this fight easily same as uh, Tsuki, Tsuki was actually going up against the uh, Eno and the double knockout, the double knockout would be between uh, the two Hugas and the here Neji has more respect for Hinata because not only did she train and become stronger and uh, pretty much drew with him, uh, but also he was she was able to uh, pretty much injure him just as much as uh, sh he injured her and uh, they both had respect for each other and they made up anyways. Uh, <clears throat> Hinata was the one to actually implant the idea of uh, uh, Th that basically what Naruto told oh, what Naruto told Neji at the finals uh, is what Hinata did that in the preliminaries and so he changed quite a bit in the preliminaries not in the finals but anyway now of course Neji and uh, uh, well Naruto and Kiba's fight when uh, pretty much uh, uh, easy for Naruto easy win uh, it was a uh, it wasn't easy naruto in the original it wasn't hard at the same time but anyways i wouldn't say it was hard naruto wasn't really trying let's be honest but anyways now naruto and uh but it was so much easier for him this time but anywho now team seven uh, pretty much passed and uh, they were told that there is a one month training and naruto goes back to learning his uh healing ninjutsu naruko asked naruto if he wanted to uh, train with her he, she would train him to be the strongest and Naruto says no train Tsuki please and uh, Naruto asked why does he not want to get trained by her like it's been so long they trained each other with each other and Naruto has been distancing more and more from her and Naruto says uh, listen uh, 
I don't want you. I want. I don't want to bring you any trouble. So please just go to the uh, go go train her, please. Anyways, now the Naruto was saddened by this because Naruto's like getting this. Like he was already distant as he was after the uh, the land of waves and everything. However, now after like. Of, he hasn't talked to her he hasn't even been home like literally he literally it, with his money he bought a hotel literally he's been staying in at a hotel when he has a home but anyways naruto is trying to distance himself because every time he gets close to people they either get injured or they die for example his parents died when he was born second example was of course uh, tsuki and the rest didn't get killed however well, as soon as he came in contact with Haku, he died, and now, uh, pretty much, uh, Team Seven got absolutely rotted or you know destroyed by Orochimaru, and they're very close to Naruto. Anyway, so Naruto realized that if he keeps to, like getting closer to Naruto, it will get worse, and Naruto eventually will be the one to suffer, and so he gets distant from her and anyways in the end he does after a few days he does meet Jiraiya and Jiraiya trained Naruko remember like in the uh, not in the original but Jiraiya trained Naruko here and uh, when Naruto was actually taken by Itachi and remember Naruto has used nothing that he learned from Itachi yet Itachi taught Naruto to be one of the strongest strongest ninjas ever like literally Naruto is very very OP and anyways now uh, of course, uh, he has jutsus that uh, <clears throat> Itachi had. For example, the fireball jutsu, uh, his uh, own special fireball jutsu, where he can actually seal people's chakras. I actually know that there's a different name for it, but I don't remember. So I'm just gonna call it sealing fireball jutsu. But anyways, anywho, Jiraiya does uh, actually ask Naruto if he wants to train with him, since Naruto trained with him as well. And uh, Naruto says, unfortunately, he doesn't because he doesn't want to like just train with him and uh, Jiraiya's like so you don't want to learn jutsus to get you stronger to protect the loved ones that you have and uh, Jiraiya hit a pretty soft spot for Naruto like this is a spot where it, Naruto if you if you say that Naruto, something about Naruto's loved ones Naruto will go all out and uh, so he actually does train with Jiraiya and in the end uh, he learns uh, pretty much the everything that he learned in the original and this time he actually learns how the recent not the recent shuriken but jiraiya actually learns the recent shuriken thanks to him and naruto was actually already training in this however he actually stopped the training because he was actually learning healing ninjutsu and he asked jiraiya if he has any type of healing ninjutsu that he can learn and jiraiya asks why and naruto says that basically he wants to learn how to heal his friends whenever they're hurt and uh, he says if you can master the Rasen Shuriken like I did and learn how to throw it within the next month, I will be getting the legendary son in Tsunade to train you. And the Naruto says, alright then, I'll do it. And anyways, now, of course Naruto is a prodigy here, like I said before. And uh, so, he actually does learn the Rasen Shuriken within this month. And uh, he doesn't learn how to throw it, but Jiraiya says that that's enough. And uh, his Rasen Shuriken is actually much smaller than Jiraiya's. It's more like a how can i say this i'll say that it's <laughs> i don't know how to say this it's like a big balloon <laughs> how am i meant to give you the measurements like it's kind of mad all right i'll say that it's half the size of the recent shuriken in the original but anyways of course naruto knows how to use it but doesn't know how to throw it and he actually learned the vanishing rasengan but anyways naruko actually has the vanishing rasengan but she doesn't uh just saying Naruto has all five chakra ninjas, like I said before, just like Naruto. But Naruto has so much more, like Naruto has better mastery over the five chakra ninjas than her because he can use jutsus without even having to use any hand seals. But anyways, basically like magic. And remember, his analyzing skill. Uh, remember that he can still use it. And uh, analyzation is a very strong skill that Naruto has. It's a, pretty much a jutsu here, but uh, you'd consider it as a skill in the webtoon I read. But anywho, now. Naruto and uh, Team 7 actually uh, do reunite for the training exam finals. Well, not Sasuke yet. Tsuki actually returns and she's a lot stronger. In fact, she seems to have mastered a lot of jutsus and she's uh, very strong. She knows a few S rank jutsus uh, and everything. But, anyways, now Naruto and uh, uh, Naruto, <coughs> Naruto and uh, Tsuki actually do have to fight each other since uh, 
uh, pretty much Naruto is the first one to fight and since uh, Neji wasn't there it's actually Naruto who takes his place uh, uh, not Naruto Otsuki who takes his place and anyways now Tsuki actually learned the flying raging during this one month training she hasn't mastered it fully however she can use it to an extent where it's useful and she mastered it faster than Naruto showing that uh, her generation of prodigy abilities but anyways now a genius a generation of genius but anyways now naruto and uh, uh, tsuki do go at it uh, at first they go with the taiju to fight and naruto seems to be more and more uh distant tsuki was asking questions well was asking him questions about his training how did it go how was how was it and uh, naruto was giving her vague uh, answers like oh that was hard and uh, oh what did you learn and naruto said not too much and uh, he wasn't answering like he usually would like naruto is more of a he's a more of a jolly person than what he seems like right now and anyways now of course naruto, uh, naruto actually realized this because he didn't see the smile that naruto usually has when sparring with tsuki or someone or sasuke and uh, basically naruto says that's enough it's over and pretty much Nar well, naruto well naruto i mean uh, Tsuki uses a Rasengan to finish the fight off, however Naruto did say it's enough and he analyzes the skill, just going to show how much his analyzation skill went up and pretty much uh, now uh, Naruto uh, uh, analyzes the Rasengan and it's over, the, uh, Tsuki literally instead of smashing the Rasengan into his uh, chest, it was just her hand and Naruto pretty much throws her into the wall and uh, Tsuki does stand back up, however, then Naruto actually teleports in front of her and says it's lightning style, lightning prison. And uh, he doesn't do any seals, he just closes his hand into a fist uh, and says it's over. And uh, Tsuki, uh, well, has a kunai to her neck and Tsuki says, oh, fair enough. And anyways, Naruto says he fought well and then goes back to the stands and pretty much on his way up, he sees a uh, uh, <clears throat> Gara who's ready to fight, however, the uh, Naruto actually did talk to Garo, not realizing that he's a Jinjuriki as well, and said, Garo, I know how you feel. You're pretty much shouting as a Jinjuriki, aren't you? Just like me, right? And uh, he could see because this was Naruto. He remembers having these kind of feelings when he was a Jinjuriki as well with Naruto. However, thanks to Naruto and him leaving the village at one point uh, because of well, being kidnapped pretty much, uh, actually did change his uh, personality and everything. And uh, he realized that there are better things than hatred and hatred won't get him anywhere. And anyways, now Naruto and uh, uh, well, uh, Garo will actually threw a sand at him pretty much. A sand hand which had claws on it to actually kill him and Naruto said uh, well Naruto just analyzed it and pretty much uh, sent it back to normal sand and Naruto said listen there is no way you can beat me right now you're too angered if you're too angry you won't be able to fight properly so maybe you should calm down first and then he pats him on the back uh, and uh, Gara realizes that Naruto literally walk towards him without him even noticing like he didn't even feel his presence getting close or anything he just was there like i don't know not even using flying raging that just shows how much stronger naruto it has gotten and anyways now naruto uh, was watching well uh, was waiting for sasuke to arrive and then his fight got uh, his uh his fight got postponed as per normal and uh, in the end uh, he uh, the fight was uh taken to last place and uh, now Team Seven and well, Sasuke and uh, uh, Sasuke and uh, <coughs> anyway, uh, Sas uh, well, Shikamaru and uh, Temari have their fight, and Shikamaru pretty much annihilates Temari because remember Shikamaru did train with Naruto for a bit. But anyways, now and also because he did it in the original, but here it was much easier for him. And next was Shino versus oh, Kankuro, but. It never happened because Kankuro pretty much gave up and then it was Sasuke versus uh, Gara. Gara was pretty pissed off at Naruto already so he was going to destroy Sasuke for instead of him for now and then Naruto but then Sasuke does appear last minute and pretty much uh, continues uh, the tuning exams and uh, here Sasuke is much stronger like I said he already did start training in the Chidori and remember Naruto has the Chidori so he actually masters the lightning blade by now and uh, after all of this, after all of this, Naruto 
and uh, well, I mean Sasuke pretty much annihilates Garo. Not really, but Garo was actually pretty angered by Naruto already, and uh, uh, Sasuke just penetrates his sand, sand dome, and this was what pretty much uh, set off Garo. Garo went all out, and uh, Sasuke wasn't expecting it, expecting this. However, um, he got pretty much fainted because uh, he got slapped so hard into the wall that he lost consciousness, and Naruto was like, he realized what this, what's happening, and uh, again. He doesn't want his loved ones to get hurt, and so once uh, everyone gets put under again, Jutsu and Tsuki, and uh, some of the rest went under it. Uh, he actually puts the rest under again, Jutsu, in front of Kakashi, and Kakashi's like, "Why would you do that now?" And Naruto says, "Listen, it's not your business. I'll do. It. I'll go after Gara." And uh, Kakashi is like, "Naruto, no." And Naruto says, "Listen, this is my job." I have to. I'm a shinobi of the leaf. I'm not going to just allow the leaf to get attacked like this. Now let me go. And uh, Kakashi says it's too dangerous. And uh, Naruto says shush. Anyways, Naruto did try to stop Naruto as well. And Naruto says you should go help the Hokage. After all, you do have a seal on him, right? And Naruto does go help the Hokage in the end because Naruto um, did say to help him instead of him. But anyways, uh. Now Naruto goes on his own and pretty much destroys the sound uh, shinobi that were actually following them and after that he actually uh, goes on to uh, <clears throat> goes on to destroy pretty much uh, <clears throat> a, a tempo oh, oh, Kankuro because he did put uh, Shino in, under Genjutsu as well and uh, then he actually goes on to destroy uh, so uh, Gara. Gara does go into his uh, full tail beast mode however uh, Naruto having Jutsu from uh, Basically, an Akatsuki member, an S rank shinobi, pretty much, uh, well, is way too OP for him. But, anyways, he does use the five, uh, five star, five phoenix uh, jutsu, and uh, in the end, goes into his uh, Gamabunta mode. Well, not Gamabunta mode, but he gets his gum, uh, gets Gamabunta to help him, and pretty much they finish the fight off. And uh, yeah, Gara and Naruto become friends, and that was pretty much it for the leaf attack. And uh, now Naruto does return to see everyone actually is woken up, and uh, Orochimaru escapes with uh, pretty much his hand sealed and the Hokage in Naruto's arms, and Naruto actually grieving for the Hokage. But anyways, now uh, Naruto uh, was actually there to console uh, Naruto, and uh, uh, she was uh, happy that her brother was still like with her and. Uh, he wasn't distancing himself anymore like he was actually consoling her at this point but anyways now naruto and uh, uh, naruto do go back home but then naruto says i'm going out and doesn't come back to the night naruto then sees naruto the next day at the funeral and she asked what happened and naruto said oh um nothing and she said why didn't you come home after the funeral of course but anyways naruto says that it's none of her business and uh, pretty much uh, now continues his training until Basically, they need the fifth Okage, and Jiraiya comes to Naruto to uh, basically say that they need to go find Tsunade, especially because she needs to become the fifth Okage. And uh, now, oh, Naruto pretty much. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Naruto says yes, and Naruto says no. Naruto's not going, and Naruto, uh, you know, Naruto then says, Why? It's not your life. I want to go because I need to learn something from her. And the plus, it's my. my my sensei asked my master asked me so why would i not go and uh tsuki says uh, well, no, well naruto then says that you know he's not just your master he's my master too so i'm saying no and uh, naruto says still i'm going and uh, naruto and naruto have a fight here and uh, pretty much they don't have a fist fight they don't actually go into like literal physical fighting but you know verbal fighting and anyways naruto says that you, she's becoming annoying he doesn't want to stay with her anymore in fact he's not even living with her anymore He's living in a hotel room at this point, and Naruto was heartbroken from that, and uh, you know she just went back home. And Naruto, well, Jiraiya says uh, that was too harsh. Once we come back, you have to apologize. And anyways, of course, as soon as they leave, uh, Itachi does come back, and Naruto does uh, fight Itachi as well. Uh, but the one put under Genjutsu was pretty much uh, was, uh, Kakashi, and uh, Naruto was about to finish off, uh, you know, Kisame, uh, but then. You know, they escape because Matt Guy arrives and pretty much uh, she, uh, well, Naruto and, uh, well, Naruto does ask uh, Itachi why and pretty much now uh, S Sasuke finds out about the same as Tsuki, but Tsuki doesn't uh, doesn't go because of uh, Naruto being her sensei and telling her not to go 
and uh, she actually she actually listens but sasuke was too enraged to listen to anyone at that point and so he goes uh, anyways and anywho now naruto and uh, well naruto does get two knocks a few knocks at his door to see uh, itachi and kisame and uh, he was ready to fight too uh, even though he knew that itachi wasn't going to kill him or anything but anyways now naruto and uh, naruto and uh, <clears throat> Anyways, Naruto was ready to fight, but then Sasuke arrives and pretty much uh, the same thing happens here. And then the uh, Mike guy and uh, Jiraiya <laughs> arrive and pretty much send them away because they got scared. I'm joking, they didn't get scared. They just didn't want to fight the two right now because they knew it was a certain death for them. And anyways, now the two escape and uh, that's where I'm going to end off. Sasuke is taken back to the village and... Uh, Naruto and uh, Jiraiya do continue their search for uh, Tsunade and anyways, hope you enjoyed it, please stick and stay safe, this was the King of Weebs here, don't forget to subscribe to Retreat, Miniman123, also my friend Hamesh, and my second channel DB Lover, and also uh, follow Shoukri on Instagram, follow me on Instagram even if I don't post, and uh, get your good quality anime merch from Beautiful Halo, and get 5% off on your next $49 plus order with the code MEME, M-E-M-E, -E, and 10% off with the on your next $99 plus order if you're rich like retreat with the code memes m-e-m-e-s and uh get your good quality lamps from lamptea.com and uh, you can get 10% off on any order it doesn't matter what price any order and you can get different types of lamps anime lamps i don't i don't freaking know gun lamps any I, like you can find anything there bro like literally anything and also uh, the code is uh, Lam T dash the King of Weebs. The L in Lam T is capitalized. So L A M P T E E, a double E, remember? Dash the King of Weebs, all capital except for O and F, like in uh like on YouTube. You know my name on YouTube, how it's written there. Pretty much like that. But anyway, I got raped. Uh oh. <laughs> I meant in the game. I got absolutely destroyed. The retreat is in the VC, just saying. Anyways, my darklings are dismissed and peace. Fuck you, retreat.